There's only one smartphone I know that gives you Android's operating system at the tap of a finger and then turns into a presentation tool at the tap of a button. I'm Jessica Dahlcourt for CNET, showing you around this quirky, likable Samsung Galaxy Beam. Now, I first saw the Beam in a very crowded conference room at Mobile World Congress, and I was as curious about how well the integrated projector worked as you are. I have to say, it works impressively well for what it is. You turn on the built-in Pico projector by pressing a button on the side of the phone. True to its name, the phone will then beam out whatever it is that's on your phone screen. This is ideal for holding an impromptu slideshow or movie night on a wall, on an outdoor screen, or maybe even on the side of a tent. And the plus side is that there's no extra bulky or expensive equipment required. It's all built in. The other major use case is for giving presentations in the office. You can launch a presentation from any app, but some apps might fare better than others. The Beam comes with Polaris Office, so you can use that, or you can download any other number of apps. I launched a presentation using Google Drive. It worked, but it wasn't as smooth as running it off of a computer, and I couldn't get the presentation to go full screen. It did help, though, when I turned everything to landscape mode. What I do like is the suite of tools that helps you fine-tune the projection experience. You're able to adjust focus and rotation, point or annotate while you talk, and use what's called a visual presenter to show whatever is beneath the camera lens. There's also ambiance mode, which lets you time music and images to work as an intro while you warm up the crowd. You can also turn on the flashlight slash blinking disco light mode and set an alarm to remind you of your next briefing. Unsurprisingly, projection works best in a dark environment on a light surface, and you will have to be aware of battery drain when you use the projector. You'll use more battery for longer sessions, like beaming a video, but luckily, the phone comes with a large battery for its screen size, so that should help. It's 2000 mAh. The phone's audio worked pretty well in close, quiet settings, but you may find that you want to pair the beam to Bluetooth speaker for some scenarios. It's pretty apparent that the projector is the phone's biggest draw, but Samsung luckily didn't forget about the rest of the phone. The Beam has an attractive, almost rugged design with this bright yellow racing stripe all around the rim, and the same vibrant color beneath the back cover. The phone is on the thicker side because of the projector, especially at the top, and it's also a little heavier than usual, but it feels comfortable because of the soft touch finish on the backing. There's a 4-inch Super AMOLED screen and Android 2.3 Gingerbread. The phone also comes with a physical home button on the bottom and both a SIM card slot and a micro SD card slot on the sides for easy access. The 5 megapixel camera takes some good shots and captures 720p HD video. There's also a 1.3 megapixel camera on the front for video chats. Now, this Galaxy Beam that I have here is an unlocked version running on 3G on an AT&T SIM card. The phone will be available in Europe very soon, but there's no official US release date yet. I'm Jessica Dahlcourt for CNET, and this has been the Samsung Galaxy Beam projector phone. You'll find my full review on CNET.com.